Hey guys, here are three monster Can-Ams that just left the shop in the past few weeks. And yes, of course, one of them was that big 6x6 six six you've been following on Instagram. Now the first unit here, Commander XT in red. Very rare to see. We, uh, we end up doing a lot of Mavericks, so it was pretty cool to do this Commander XT. Guy picked it up used. Uh, brought it in. We added uh, MSA rims, M20 rims, 31 inch high lifter tires, and of course a 6 inch Cat Boss lift you see on it. Uh, relocated the radiator to the back, extended his snorkels, turned out awesome. Like I said, just a unique project. You don't see a lot of these lifted commanders going down the trail, so when you see one it's, uh, it's always cool to see. He had a few goodies on it, a few bumpers on it, the extreme bumper on the front and back. The roof on it just uh, turned out really nice in really good shape uh, was a good unit to uh, do this too. Um, I'm not too sure if he's going to keep the window in the front but it uh, looked pretty cool in the bush here sitting with the lights up top, uh, the extreme bumpers and like I said that's a 6 inch cat boss lift onto it and uh, the 31 inch high lifter outlaws. Now the second one was an 800 XMR kind of a rebuild this is one that we put together for a fellow a few months back it had the standard yellow panels black on it the yellow black look that you see to it uh, we stripped it down, did a full service to it, sent some components away to Munster powder coating. Uh, turned out really awesome, a nice red color that come back. The, uh, the rogue off-road uh, grill insert in the front there. Uh, all the front bumper parts, uh, reinstalled everything and uh, just turned out awesome. Had it re-wrapped, uh, the panels blacked out on the side, the black panels instead of the yellow ones. Redid the snorkels, put them up a little higher. Uh, just turned out really good, custom seat cover on it. 30-inch uh, Gorilla Silverbacks, STI beadlock rims, just an awesome machine. You're going to see this one out on the trail. You're definitely going to know uh, know this bike when you see it. Lots of cool lighting on the front. The halos on there, matching halos, and the uh, Rigid Industries light. Lots of lighting up front. Just a really awesome looking Can-Am. Real treat to work on this unit. Uh, just uh, just turned out perfect. Now the last one, of course, the 6x6. Dave uploaded some videos when he loaded her up here the last week. This is when it was still stripped down. Really unique machine. Uh, camo in color, big tracks on it. Uh, all custom color-coded Munster powder coating on it. Now the rad relocate on it, this is where Dave likes to do stuff a little bit different. That's not the kit from BRP. We actually ordered all the components off the XMR to give it that look, that unique look, that one-of-a-kind look. Of course, he found, sourced out the Apache 360 tracks that came from BRP. We added them. You can see all the snorkel work I've had to do underneath here, uh, just uh, making sure everything is uh, going to take the heat and the abuse that he's going to put this thing through in the next few weeks. RJWC exhaust. This is a standard exhaust off the Gen 2 chassis, but they made up this little tailpiece for us here uh, to try to play around with. We weren't too sure what we are going to do. You can see here it actually sticks out. It's quite cumbersome. Um, in the last walk around videos, you're going to see here where I've actually shortened and modified it. And I think we've got something that's going to work, going to keep the heat off the box and make sure any, nothing's melting. We did act, add some extra guards underneath uh, to deflect the heat and make sure everything was going to work. The rear winch kit in the back, they're all Pro Vantage winches in it. The 3,000 pound in the back, 3,500 in the front. And the big track on the back here. Now the front driver is actually the one that drives it. The back is just a, a cogged wheel. Um, really awesome, really heavy duty Apache 360 track. Took two of us to get this on and set the tension right, made sure everything was uh, good to go on it. Dave's going to go for a run on it, get some vibrations through this machine and uh, retorque everything, check everything over, make sure everything's good to go. Of course, we've got the big log bars on the back, big headache rack. Curious to see what he's going to load up on there. Uh, he's going to go cutting wood with this thing or what he's going to end up doing with it. Just awesome. Just look, looks really cool again with the camo look to it. And uh, Oster Cruiser, he does a one-of-a-kind build, and you definitely know uh, it's uh, him coming and what it is. Uh, guys, I'm going to leave you with a good walk around of this unit here. Check out his videos. Let's see what's going on. This will be about the last time you see it clean. So you guys enjoy this uh, two-minute walk around. i got lots of sled videos on deck to come up for uh, the month of November. Again, you guys, I want to thank you for watching and subscribing. Please, you guys, stay tuned.